Hello, people. We've been hearing quite a lot these days about the recent outbreak of this coronavirus variant in the South Africa, the Omicron variant. And now, there's a disturbing question in everyone's mind. Will the vaccine protect us from this new Omicron variant? Or is there any new vaccine available for this? We'll be answering you these worrisome questions. So watch till the end. And if you haven't subscribed us, do subscribe us. Because making this kind of informational videos requires a lot of time and research. And if you think we deserve it, do comment, like and subscribe our video. If you haven't watched our previous video on Omicron, I suggest you to watch it and then come back here so that you won't feel clueless about this variant. We've talked about the cause of increased infectivity of the virus and the mutations in the previous video. There is a high transmissibility of this virus, which is an alarming thing, and many countries have started sealing their borders. But what's relieving news is that the symptoms, or let's say the progression of the disease, are not as severe as the Delta variant. And there are no significant death cases reported yet so far. So even though the infections with Omicron variant are increasing, the manifestations are not severe. And due to this decreased severity, there are a high number of mild cases with this variant, which has made this variant an infective one with a global spread. The infected individuals might not know that they are infected, and this leads to an unknown and a rapid spread of the virus. Recently, it has been estimated that the number of Omicron cases is doubling every two to three days. The findings may change in upcoming days, but so far, no lethal progressions have yet been reported, and this might be as a result of previous vaccinations. The UK scientists have recently came up with the conclusion that the two doses of COVID vaccine are not enough to stop you catching the Omicron variant. The UK Health Security Agency report has analyzed data from 581 Omicron cases and thousands of Delta cases to calculate the effectiveness of the vaccine against this new variant. This analysis is based on limited data and it might not suffice the representation of the cases from the global perspective, but this is the only study available so far. This study showed that the two usual doses of AstraZeneca and Pfizer BioNTech is not going to protect you at all from getting Omicron variant. They concluded the fact that there was a dramatic decrease in levels of protection offered by the two full doses of existing vaccines against Omicron than the Delta variant. But it also showed that the booster dose, yes, the third dose, can boost up this protection percentage. And talking about in numbers, the third dose AstraZeneca vaccine would provide 70% of protection and that of Pfizer vaccine would provide a 75% of protection against the symptomatic infection with this Omicron variant. So your country might prepare you for the third dose if necessary. The booster dose will also increase the protection against the Delta variant as well, which was around 90% which is also a very good news. Currently, there are around 22 million people in the world who have received the booster dose. Only vaccinations might not be sufficient to control the pandemic. Local transmission must be decreased, which can be done by being self-aware and following the safety protocols, such as wearing masks, maintaining hygiene, and maintaining social distancing. Summing up the video, the recent studies conducted by the UK Health Security Agency report has showed declined protection with just two doses of AstraZeneca and Pfizer. And this can be increased by introducing a third booster dose in the immunization schedule. The Omicron is a heavily mutated variant and there is a high infectivity but low severity with it. Most of the death still has been occurring in the world due to Delta variant. The third booster dose is also believed to increase the level of protection against the Delta variant than the present situation with just the two doses. That's all for today. And by far, I expect you guys to understand that the vaccinations we have received is not sufficient enough to provide us protection against this rapidly spreading Omicron variant. So stay safe and stay protected. 
made it made it for you